Hiya. So we're going to be learning the fallout. So this song is in open D tuning. So that means that we've got the lowest E string tuned down two notes. We're also going to tune the G string down one note. And the top two strings, the B string and the E string, they're also tuned down two notes. So we've got D, A, F sharp, and the D string stays the same, A string stays the same, and we've got D. So you should get, once you've uh, tuned all the strings down like this, should make this nice D chord when we play all the open strings together. So even though we're in uh, open D tuning, I'll still be referring to the string names as their normal names, so still the E string, A string, D string, etc. And then along with that, we've also got a capo on the third fret. So now we should have that chord when we play. So again, even though the, we've got a capo on the third fret, I'll still be referring to the frets as their normal names, so fret one, two, three, etc. because we're going to be going quite high up the neck in this song. So the majority of the song is just made up of this kind of one riff uh, that plays through all the verses. So it goes like this. So for this riff, we're going to start up here on the uh, 15th fret of the low E string. So we've got our index finger on the 15th fret of the E string there. Then we've got our little finger on the 17th fret of the D string. So, And then finally, our middle finger on the 15th fret of the G string. So we're on 15th fret of the low E string, 17th fret of the D string, and 15th fret of the G string. So it's quite a squeeze, but then when we play that, we've got this nice chord here. So we start off here by going. So we start off with our thumb on the low E string. We're going to play that first. Then our index finger on the D string. And then our middle finger on the G string. So we're going low E string, then D string, then G string. So then we're going to go. So the, again, we're going to start off with our thumb on the low E string here. So then we're going to, with our ring finger, we're going to play the E string. And then with our middle finger, we're going to play the B string. So these two strings are still open. We're not pressing anything down on them. So they're just the open strings there. So we've got so far. And then finally, all we're going to do is take our uh, little finger off the D string, so we've now just got open D string, and then we're just gonna go. So that is just our thumb on the low E string first, and then our index finger on the D string. So all together, we've got. So that's the first shape there, so then when we speed that up a little bit, we've got. So then, we should be on this shape, now we've just taken our little finger off the D string there. So all we're going to do is just slide that down. So we're now on the uh, 10th fret of the low E string and the 10th fret of the G string. So then we're going to do a very similar picking pattern. So we're going to start off again by going. So that is again our thumb on the low E string. Then our index finger on the D string. And then our middle finger on the G string. So we're going, and then again, we're going to go. So again, thumb on the low E string, then our ring finger on the high E string, and then our middle finger on the B string. So we're going. And then just like we did last time, we're just going to finish by playing thumb on the low E string, and then index finger on the D string. So, so far, very slowly, we've got And then finally, for the third shape of the verse section, all we're going to do is then slide down two frets. So we're just on the fifth fret of, sorry, the uh, the eighth fret of the low E string. So that's the only uh, string that we're pressing down on. The rest is just all open strings. And then finally, we're going to do the same picking pattern. So we're going to go. 
So again, that's just thumb on the low E string, then index finger on the D string, middle finger on the G string. So we're going, then thumb again on the low E string, then ring finger on the high E string, then middle finger on the B string. So we're going, and then finally, just thumb on the low E string and index finger on the D string. So we're going. And then we're just gonna do that twice, so. So after that, we just go back to the start and we do it all over again. So those three shapes are just what make up the kind of verse riff. So very slowly, all together, we've got So we speed up, you go. So that makes up pretty much sort of 70% of the whole song. So the only other bit of that is the chorus. Uh, so let me get to the chorus. So the, just before the chorus, we end by just bringing out that last shape there. So we've just gone. just holding that shape we're just going to strum down instead of picking it so then we get to the chorus so. so the chorus is very similar to the verse we start off pretty much exactly the same so the same shape is exactly the same so again 15th fret of the e string 17th fret of the D string, and then 15th fret of the G string. And we're gonna do the exact same picking pattern as we do in the verse, so again, just. Sorry. So then after that, again, we slide down to that second shape, exactly the same as before. And then to the third shape, exactly as before. The first half of the chorus is exactly the same as just the verses, but then for the second half, we're then going to slide up. So all that is, is we're just on the 12th fret of the low E string there. And again, same picking pattern just as before, so we're just going to go thumb on the low E string, then the D string, then G string, and then again, thumb on the low E string, then high E string, then B string. And then finally, thumb on the E string, and then D string, so. So we're just going to slide down to that second shape of the verse there. So again, that's 10th fret of the low E string, and the 10th fret of the G string. And again, same picking pattern. And then finally, we're just going to slide that shape down two frets. So we're now on the 8th uh, fret of the low E string and also the eighth fret of the G string this time. And we're gonna do the same pattern again, so. So all together for that chorus, there we go. That's all of the chorus, and then at the end of that chorus, we just go back to the verse. So really, the picking pattern stays exactly the same for the entirety of the song. So the only other one guitar part there is there is a second guitar part that comes in uh, at the start of the chorus there. So I'll just show you that quickly. So that guitar part is a uh, a lot easier compared to the other one. So all we're doing is going. So all that is, is we're just on the 8th fret of the A string now. And then we've got all the other strings just open. So we're just going to go 
A string with our thumb, then the D string with our index finger, then the G string with our middle finger. So we're just going. And then after that, just B string with our ring finger, then back to the G string with our index finger, and then D string with our index, sorry, G string with our middle finger, and then D string with our index finger. So what we're doing is we're just going. So then after that, we're just going to slide up two frets. So we're now on the 10th fret of the A string. And again, same pattern. So. And then just back down to the 8th fret. So that picking pattern, it sounds uh, a little bit strange on its own. But then with the chorus, it sounds like this. So it's pretty simple compared to the main riff and that just comes in in the choruses uh, quite quiet there but it's up to you whether you play that or not i think if you're playing it by yourself it's definitely better to just stick to the main guitar when you're playing it so as i said the whole song's just made up of those two sections uh so we just have a standard sort of verse chorus first chorus and then the song just kind of ends with the going back to the original riff so. And then we just end on that final third chord there. So just the same way that we uh, would end just before a verse, we just ring out that last chord. So that, that's the whole of the song. Uh, once you've kind of got the, that picking pattern down, although it's a little bit complicated, it does pretty much continue for the entirety of the song. So really you just have to get the, chord, the sort of fingers and the strings coordinated, and then that's the whole of the song. So I hope it's been helpful for you. Thank you very much.